To avoid driving across treacherous dunes, Perseverance was instructed to shoot the gap in a bouldery ridge, but the rover was on its own to figure out how. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Perseverance has been exploring the floor of the feature known as Sita, Navajo for amongst the sand. This is where the oldest rocks yet encountered are present. But the northwest route along a ridge of outcrops leads to large sand dunes that could trap the rover. So a gap in the ridge just over 6 meters wide, or about 20 feet, offers a path out of Sita. At nearly 3 meters wide, Perseverance would need to carefully guide itself between large rocks. On Sol 173, Mascam Z shot a mosaic along the ridge. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The ruggedness of the ridge and the challenge of getting over it are evident in this view. Perseverance made its way along the ridge to the gap identified using the satellite image. When it reached this point, it executed a 90 degree turn to face the gap. Rather than including humans in the loop at this point, the plan was to let Perseverance use its auto-nav capability to choose the path. This view from the nav cam shows how Perseverance chose a path that evenly split the distance between untraversable boulders, proving the effectiveness of auto-nav even in tricky situations. After passing through the gap, Perseverance spent one sol taking images, then did a 90 degree turn and drove off. Several meters away, Mascam Z looked back and produced this mosaic that captures the boundary between Sita to the left and the expanse of surrounding bedrock to the right. But what is this surrounding bedrock? The curving lobate margins suggest that material flowed in around the Sita terrain, probably when it was higher in elevation, before erosion reduced it to its current level. As presented in episode 6, lava flows are known to surround pre-existing terrain, creating similar lobate margins. But the rocks observed by Perseverance along the margin of Sita don't really look like lava flows. Another possibility is pyroclastic ash flows from cataclysmic explosive volcanic eruptions. Perseverance is now investigating these rocks. It has already used its arm-mounted corer and a braiding bit to get a closer look. The result, like the first grind presented in episode 18, shows very intriguing details. This will be the subject of a future episode.